Hello, this is Nick G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Since last time, I've rearranged my party as I have listed in the video description, and we've gotten everything taken care of at Tanfan. But there's one more thing I want to do uh, before departing at sea. I actually want to depart by land, because there's another genie that we can encounter in the wild. Whoa, that eclipse is getting a little too close for comfort. And here we got a new enemy, Rat Warrior. These guys are weak to Mars, and they can potentially run away. So I want to use Doldrum to prevent them from getting that opportunity. And they don't give very much experience. Well, I mean, I guess decent, but... It's okay to not go for the gin kill against them with a Mars genie. Yeah, kick ass! Okay, let's see a new enemy over here. The Whisper Skull is weak to Jupiter. It can also inflict the curse status, or death curse status, or just flat out instant death right there. So you want to watch out for that. That's why I used uh, Doldrum there. And then, yeah, just another round of attack should get the job done. The enemies in the Eclipse region by Tanfan are much harder than the ones that you'll meet up with anywhere else. So you might want to watch out for that. And let's see, this little forest patch here is where you can meet up with the Mercury Genie. So let's see what we got here. I don't want to brand this guy to seal its synergy because it could potentially run away and I would like to mitigate that possibility as much as possible there. And let's see, yeah, well, we might as well heal up a little bit there, why not? Let's see, uh, the Mercury Genie has 949 HP, so I think I can get in one more full round of attacks without killing the guy. Ow! It's the price you pay for not... Uh, what is it? Oh, for not sealing its synergy. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it, uh, just like all Mercury Gen, this one's weak to Mars. I'm gonna use Doldrum to prevent it from running away in the event that Karis is not able to quite finish it off there. But there we go! Alright! Lots of experience from these Gen. Yeah, I prefer doing, like, all the optional stuff before actually advancing the plot and all that. And for defeating it, we get the Foam Genie, which is completely pointless. It... what is it? It only... or it reduces the jit or the agility of enemies. Oh, I forgot to reset my gym there. Whoops. That will be fine. Yeah, the Rat Warriors are nothing to really worry about. Especially when you get all your best unleashes. Holy cow! Well, I have been getting a lot of equipment lately that boosts my crit rate there. So, well, that helps a little bit. Now, there were some stairs up there to the left, but uh, I'm not going to be going there for quite some time, actually. But alright, we're done with our business in the region, so yeah, let's get out of here. Maybe we can see how Champa is doing. What do you mean? I mean, besides the end of the world, the thieving pirates. Oh, or her? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was with him before. Did. Oh. Well, yeah, with the whole with the whole end of the world thing and imminent doom. But yeah, it totally slipped my mind. What do you mean? Let me guess, Matthew. Ah, or him. But he's got to be like ten times her age. Besides, aren't they basically the same plan? Ah. Well then. Well, evidently. 
Well then. Well, I guess that would explain how uh, Creighton was able to get to Balinsk without going through the border. They just took the ship to get over there, I guess. Oh. Okay, well, never mind then. Okay, so before heading to Champa, there's one more thing I want to do in the area. Once you get to... Oh, well, before that, uh, yeah. After that battle, we mastered the Muramasa for Tyrell there. So I'm gonna shuffle around my equipment a little bit, and yeah, Karis has the most weapon mastery to develop, so yeah, give her the Zal Ring, give the Ninja Gear to Amiti, and then give the old robe back to her there. And yeah, their agility's looking good there. Well, let's see, once you get to the beach there you saw a little bit of on the left, then you want to head straight south from there to find another treasure. If only there was someone who could reforge these rusty weapons that I've been collecting for a while now. After fighting another random battle. Let's see. Yeah, yeah we might as well use LOL since... Karis and Amiti are faster than Matthew. Or we could just kill it in one go. Why not? Whoop! Oh, I thought I had Jim to reset. Well, let's see what they got going on here on the beach. Nice waterfront property. Er, yeah, waterfront property you got here. Isn't it? The music is happy enough. Well, did, weren't you looking? Well, they exaggerated a little bit. He was only mostly dead. Uh, no, no. Yep. Didn't end well for him. Well, I guess it got us out of Blinsk, at least. Honorable my ass! Oh. Well, yeah, pretty much. He was a pirate. What did you expect? Well, he's just really out for revenge and all that, but... Yeah, that works. She's still alive after all these years, huh? Well, eventually... Yeah, maybe we should pay her a visit. Oh. <laughs> no, no, evidently not. Well, he got all the money from stealing from everyone else. Woo, another animal cracker there. Let's see, I'll give that to Matthew. He could always use more. And let's see, I don't think I need to rest up at the moment. Well, what? I need to char- you need to charge me to sleep on the floor? Oh. Well, I guess that's one way of keeping the monsters at bay. Wait, what'd you say? Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, alright. Couldn't Eolia just use some synergy or whatever? To, you know, li light something on fire? Well, alright. So, since we've gotten the Miramasa mastered for both Matthew and Tyrell, we don't need it anymore. So, yeah, just remove that, and, well, we're, we're pretty well on top of our weapon mastery there already. Okay, let's see. So we got, yeah, the giant dicks. Let's give that to Tyrell. 
in the event that I run into enemies on the way to the cliffs. Oh, I forgot the spirit sense the the priest there. Well, I'll do it on the way out. Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of hard to steal something without having a weapon or some something threatening. Oh, thanks. I mean, I'm not going to buy any of them. Man, they got those things everywhere, huh? Well, let's see. Now, this guy... Uh, well, I don't want to buy anything from him, but I do want to sell anything in excess at this point. And, yeah, we don't need Miramasa anymore. I mean, I could give it to Matthew, so he has a slightly stronger weapon. But we're going to get another one for him in the near future. Not today, but soon. Soon enough. Here, soon enough. Uh, stay still? Thank you. Isn't this your home? I mean, it is now. Nuts. Well, she survived all these years, so... Yeah, yeah, she's pretty tough. Oh, um, well, you know, I found weapons in the middle of the ocean, middle of nowhere, so why not here? Yeah, it's free to you, not to the people you stole it from. Ha ha. Okay, so this guy actually has something, or a couple things, that I want to buy. First, the Mysterious Robe, which is really, really powerful. So I want to use that to replace the old Muni Robe. And let's see, we got a Mirrored Shield, which I don't care for its ability there, but it does have a lot more defense. So let's get that for Tyrell there. And I think that's it. Let's see, behind the tents, there's a genie hanging out there, so let's, uh, yeah, drop it loose. Yeah, you don't need grip for that one. Uh, look, I'll be taking care of that guy in just a moment. Oh, right, right. What do you mean? They didn't all die! Well, then maybe you should find a way to make an honest living. Yeah, I almost forgot about this guy. Uh, pirates are evil. They rob and murder people. That doesn't sound very good to me. I don't think they would like it if we stole from them. Oh, really? Well, at least you got out of there before it was too late. I don't think that would be a good idea or advisable at this time. So, what's so special about her staying there? That's... Well, we could just set the earth on fire. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, there's not very much treasure for us to find around here. Okay, so yeah, with the boat there, you can just squeeze all right past it, so that way we can get around to the back and collect another genie. Oh. Is it even more useless than the genie we just got before? Spoiler alert! It is! Yeah, the fugue. Or, yeah, I think it's pronounced fugue or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, let's see, that one uh, damages the synergy, or PP, of all enemies. So, yeah, I can't imagine a situation where I would actually want to use that, so, yeah. Um, well, she's not here, is she? Good for 
you guys. I like how they have reasons for why various locations are at least somewhat not entirely in danger, but there's a reason for it. It's not like, oh yeah, the monsters just passed us by and, well, I guess we just got lucky or something. Okay, so this is actually not Champa. That was the Champa camp. I want to go over here to the real Champa. Where they got their houses and boats and caves and whatever they got going on here. Nice. Well, I guess not everyone made it out too well, huh? Ow. How do you burn your houses? You live either in tents or in caves or boats. All of which are made out of wood. Well, not the cave. Well, so what's so special about this place, then? I mean, you must have a reason. Well, yeah, I mean, it pretty much happened to pirates, really. So, yeah, probably. Well, let's see if we, what we got in the graves here. Any treasure? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Wait, hold on. No, just use spirit sentence there. How do you know that? I mean, you would have had to die probably at about the same time he did. The news couldn't have gotten here that fast. Well, it is a JRPG. And as we all know, in JRPGs... <laughs> uh, in JRPGs... What is it? News always travels faster than you do. Absolutely. Well, holy cow. Let me try something here, because you got these six gravestones. No? No, okay. I was thinking there would have been, like, another hidden treasure there. Like, oh, okay, you, act you guys actually do have houses. What cave? Hmm, well, remember that for later years. We can go in there, but there's not a whole lot we can do. But yeah, with Sveta, I thought there might have been, like, a treasure there that I didn't know about. Because, I mean, just like when we first picked up Sveta, and there was that... Not a circle of stones, but... Well, a circular area where we used the track to find a treasure... Whoa! Wrong way! There's nothing over here! Dots. Oh wait, no, that's not the way to go. Yeah, there's a bit more treasure to pick up here than at the camp. What's going on? And what did that do? Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, I and mean, could use it every now and then. Whee! Oh, hey, Baba, there she is. Now, one thing you want to do here is make sure to grow the vine, so that way we can get in and out relatively quickly. You'll see why in just a moment. But for now, let's uh, keep on moving around. And let's see. Check out the dead end. I don't think there's any treasure in there. Or anything like that. Oh. Well, you got Eolio. Although he's hanging out with us for now. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can't move past that guy. Are you cooking something? Ah. Okay, never mind. I would think every oven in the game, or most of the ovens, are cooking something, even when it makes no logical sense. But all right, let's see if we go in here. Ha ha! Hmm, wasn't there, didn't one of the NPCs say something about a cave or something? Or 
Well, remember that for later, viewers. Not today, but eventually. Ah, okay, I guess no one's here. Well, yeah, he's a pirate, not a blacksmith. He does? I don't think we ever take advantage of that with Eolio, but okay. I like how they kept this part, or this, some of the caves here, basically the same as they were in the Lost Age. Alright, I'm mint! Let's give that to Tyrell, he could always use a little more agility there. And, let's see, well, you got the fire pit, or whatever that is, a forge, something or other. Okay, so yeah, just work your way around here until we find Obaba. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for not murdering our parents. Well, he was. And us old people gotta stick together. And something like that. <laughs> Cradle. <laughs> and don't worry about it. What do you mean? Yeah, pretty much. Well, at least he made it there. Or, yeah, at least he made it to the port. Oh, well, evidently. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, he's already dead, though. I was c confused there. Well, something like that. Well, yeah, that's what he said. Well, something like that, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay, so now we can finally put all those reagents that we've been collecting to use, like the Mithril Silver, the Quality Zol, and I think there's a couple others that we could use. But uh, I'm not... Or, well, I am going to be using that. And once you give the material to Obaba, then the item that you're going to get is set. But I think you have to leave the village entirely and then come back for her to finish it up. Is there, if there is a faster way of speeding that up, let me know. But I don't think there is. I think you just got to leave the village and suck it up and then come on back. But now we got the vines, so the climb is going to be much easier. How powerful can the equipment possibly be that Baba can forge for us? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!